Georgetown's first trip to Friday night at the Garden since 2005. As you take a look at the bracket for the Big East right now, facing Seton Hall, 6 p.m. Eastern. But here's the funny thing. You mentioned the Garden, right? And, of course, we all know that Patrick Ewing, Georgetown's coach, has a long story tradition at the Garden. His jersey's in the rafters at MSG, and yet and still he had this to say about how many times he's been accosted by security. But I do want to say one thing, though. They, I, I thought this was my building, and I feel terrible that I'm getting stopped, accosted, asking for passes. I, everybody in this building should know who the hell I am. And I'm getting stopped. I can't move around this building. Like I, I, I was like, what the hell? Is this Madison Square Garden? I'm going to have to call Mr. Dolan and say, geez, is my number in the rafters or what? As one of those situations where they're like, he jokingly said, but he was so serious. Yeah. He was not joking at all. Here's the statement. Jones, James Dillon and Patrick have a long-standing relationship. They spoke this afternoon and reaffirmed that. We all know, respect, and appreciate what he means to the Garden and New York. Good luck to him and his Hoyas in the Big East semifinal. What is going on? College game day, Seth Greenberg back with us here. Hey, it's Patrick, Patrick Ewing. Ewing. Come on now. now. I mean, like, well, it's Charles the Oakley. Garden. Exactly. <laughs> Spike Lee, Charles o I'm having flashbacks here. And he is the Knicks. He's been the Knicks for over three decades. What's your reaction to what Ewing had to say after a thrilling win against Nova? I thought he showed great composure, quite honestly. What a tremendous win for Georgetown in the program. But he's Pat Ewing. His jersey's hanging in the rafters. <laughs> when you think of the Knicks, if it's not Willis Reed, it's Pat Ewing. Give me a break. By the way, he's seven foot. It's not like you're missing staking it for someone <laughs> right. else. Yes. <laughs> Please. It, it is unbelievable. I, and let's hope things have changed. We see the statement, of course, but my goodness, send the memo to everybody inside the garden. He is royalty walking around inside that place as a Nick. All right, we've got the Big 12 coming our way with the quarterfinal matchup. And, and, and of course, the big story when, when we look at this matchup with Kansas, Oklahoma, is, is David McCormick. He'll miss the tournament due to COVID-19. What are you most looking forward to watching this specific game at 630 Eastern? Yeah, how Oklahoma matches up with the small ball lineup of Kansas. Kansas played 35% of their possessions in this small ball lineup, so they're used to it. And they do a great job of spreading the floor, opening up, driving, kicking, dribble handoffs, and shooting threes. Almost 40% of those shots in this lineup come from the three. They shoot about 35% from there. Oklahoma has struggled defending the three the last four games. So look for this small ball lineup to spread out that Oklahoma defense, get paint touches, and kick it out. A matchup I'm watching, Austin Reese, first team all Big 12, a physical tough guard against Marcus Garrett, one of the best defenders in all of college basketball. In fact, last year, he was the defensive player of the year. Look for Austin Reeves to try to get in the lane, try to be physical, try to play into Garrett's body, but Garrett, he's a downhill driver as well. This matchup will be a matchup to watch because if Garrett can defend Reeves, you take Oklahoma out, and then on the other end, can Oklahoma defend the basketball, not over help, and run that small ball lineup of Kansas off the three-point line. Uh, this uh, program that is Kansas has dominated the Big 12 in years past when it comes to the conference tournaments. 11 of the 23 conference tournaments belong to the Jayhawks. We'll see how this plays out tonight. Very good game, Seth. Appreciate it. Patrick Ewing, give me a break. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.